It is quiet in the canyon on the desert. A Navajo Indian boy is watching his sheep. His name is Tony. His Indian last name is Hotinez. It means tall man. When he is not in school, Tony Hotinez watches his sheep with his favorite puppy. All his life, Tony Hotinez has lived in the beautiful canyon that is the summer home of his people, the Navajos. Tony knows this desert country very well. He knows the huge rock called Spider Rock and how it got its name. He has seen the cliff houses where Indians lived long, long before the Navajos came to this land. This is the land in Arizona where the Navajos live today. For hundreds of years, Navajos have lived in the southwestern lands of the United States. Many of them have been sheep herders, just as Tony is. Now, in the late afternoon, he is bringing in the sheep and goats so that they will be home by sunset. On the trail, he passes by a Hogan, the round-topped house of another neighboring Navajo family. Steadily, he keeps his flock moving. Now perhaps he is thinking of home, for soon he will be there. It is late afternoon as he brings the flock to the corral. Now the sheep and goats are safely in and Tony's work is done for today. But father is still busy. He is building a summer shelter near the family Hogan, their winter home. During summer, the open shelter will be a pleasant place for the whole family, including baby brother. Baby is napping, so Tony is careful not to wake him. Then Tony greets David, his older brother, and his sister, Alice. I've put the sheep away, says Tony. Welcome home, says David. We've been very busy today. Yes, says Alice. We've all been working to get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tony remembers. Tomorrow is going to be a happy day. And now it's time for supper inside the Hogan. Tony sits between David and father. When they have finished their meal, mother and Alice will eat. The mutton stew and fried cornbread taste good. Then mother says, we have very little sugar. That's another thing we must get at the trading post tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow we will get all the things we need, says father. A trip to the trading post tomorrow. That's what Tony's thinking of. After supper, father sits on a sheepskin and repairs the family alarm clock. David reads a book. Tony is doing the thing he loves best. Drawing pictures. Drawing is one of the things he has learned to do in school. This picture shows the great rocks in the desert. Here's one of a spotted horse. This one shows two medicine men dancing and singing a chant. Yes, Tony loves to draw pictures of the Navajo people and how they live. Next morning, Tony is up early. The sun is bright and warm. Already David, Tony's brother, is running the sheep out of the corral. David is singing a Navajo song. Listen. Navajo boys often sing as they work. Others are working too. 
Mother and Alice are making a rug on the wooden loom that father built. Back and forth go mother's fingers as she weaves the rug on her loom. The pattern she is making is one she learned when she was a little girl. While mother weaves the threads, Alice is spinning the woolen yarn on a spindle. And now, more singing. This time, it's a song that father sings as he makes a silver belt. It's a song that Tony likes. Someday, he too may be a silversmith. How wonderfully father can file and shape the silver. At last, the belt is finished. Now we can go to the trading post, says father. I will have my belt to sell. If only Tony had something to trade at the post. Mother and Alice are taking some of the rugs they've woven. Father will sell some sheepskins and the belt he made. Now they are almost ready. Did Tony forget something? Into the truck, says father. Hurry, Tony. And now the family is ready for the trip out of the canyon. Along the canyon road they go. Not far from their Hogan, they pass David. It's his turn to take care of the flock today, so he will not go to the trading post. Goodbye, call Tony and Alice. And they settle down for the long ride to the trading post. On the way, they pass a wagon. This is the way Tony's family used to travel before they had their truck. At last, they reach the trading post. There are other Navajos here. Father knows many of them. The trading post is a good place to greet old friends, and new ones too. But there are things to see inside the trading post. Hurry, Tony! Father greets the trader and offers his sheepskins and belt. Everyone has something to trade. Everyone except Tony. Tony has found something he would like very much, a set of watercolor paints. Alice and Mother are selling the rugs they made. Does Tony have anything to sell? What's that he has in his shirt? Perhaps the trader would like these, he says to Father. Drawing, says the trader. I've never bought anything like this before. But perhaps some tourist might want them. Here, Tony, he says, here are the watercolors you like so much. The buying and selling are over. But the trader wants something. This lady, he says, likes your son's drawings. If he'll make more, she'll buy them again. Tony's eyes are shining. He has made something the trader wants. Tony, says the lady, I would like more of your drawings. I will take them to my children so they can learn more about the Navajos. Goodbye, Tony. Goodbye, everyone. Now the truck is moving homeward in the late afternoon. Tony and his family are going back to their home in the canyon, back to their Hogan, 
and their flocks. Goodbye, Tony, boy of the Navajo.